Um, so I'm just about to go and meet Jules to go to the cheese festival. Um, and there's been an incident. Something's happened this morning. Right, you see this bowl? This little bowl here. Now, this bowl has been in two halves for about a week, right? Um, still in between manicures. Sorry about that. Um, it's been in two halves. Look, I'm going to show you how clean the break is. Look how perfectly, beautifully clear that crack is. It was in two halves like that. So... I found the super glue, took that scratchy bit that's always on the end, flicked that off, and I was like, I'm going to stick this bowl. Uh, it's completely stuck. It's totally actually glued itself onto the side. Hang on. Oh my god. I actually can't move it. Ah! <gasps> it can't, it won't come off. It, it absolutely will not come off. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. That's nice, isn't it? Yes, let's not worry about that. Oh, hi. Hello. Uh, we're vlogging this video uh, because... Buy a bin. <laughs> we are by a bin. <laughs> the glamour. Um, because we... Yes, it is I... a better background, thank you. Uh, but today we are going to a cheese... What are we doing? A cheese convention? We're doing a cheese festival. That's where we're going today. We're going to, in fact, wait, let me get more information for okay, you. Okay, okay, fine. Good to see him. Everyone's a producer, aren't Everyone's they? Everyone's a producer. Everyone's a producer. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Join the London cheese revolution. Happily. We're, we already have, darling. You might not know it, but there's a revolution taking place on the streets of London. Urban cheesemakers are turning milk into mozzarella under railway arches. I like the idea. Milk into mozzarella? I like the idea of going down there. Repeating <laughs> under, under scene about the whole thing. Um, it says to celebrate this pungent underground, we're organising the London Cheese Project. It's a, a project. project. A free, good, two day festival of fromage Yum. at Camden Market, the home of the newly opened oh, the Cheese aching. Bar Restaurant. I've not finished! Cheese Bar Restaurant! <laughs> Bringing together the capital's cheesemakers and mongers to showcase the city's very best cheeses. Ooh! Let's go and have a look at them. Let's go have a look. samples somebody's got cocktail sticks they're going in for them I keep looking at everyone going what she what what she got what she got I want what she's got I want what she's got I want all the samples I want all of the samples there's a lot of cocktail sticks and there's a lot of people enjoying them and I want to be one of those people there's a lot of people too many people for me it's not a surprise <laughs> everyone loves cheese uh, can we talk about that hashtag on the cheese truck Oh, thank hello Sarah, hello. Yes, we're enjoying this mentally. This basically, this is a whole queue for halloumi fries. Ain't nobody got time for that, no thanks. Maybe later, maybe later. What have you brought me? A bit of cheese on a cracker. Get in. It's quite light. Oh, that's yeah, lovely. Nice, isn't it? It is nice. I, I just wish I could tell you more. It was like a bun fight in there. So we are just quickly stopping for a drink, but I'm, in, I'm enjoying this place so much. We can't get through this. I think this could be a new Jules and Sarah slogan through life. Come on, we can't get through this. But Sarah and I are having, now this is a rosé uh, margarita. I think, I think there's Prosecco in there. Uh, yeah, that, that's my hand. Thank you very much. It's very, very bright. It's very sunny. And then this is a classic frozen margarita because Sarah and I, we can't handle the crowds. Show the crowds. Too many people. Too many people for us. Oh, there's someone. Oh, hi there. Yeah, it's too busy. So we have snuck off and we're just chilling out with a drink. Lovely. So Sarah is, uh, what are you filling out? I'm going to win. I'm going to win all these things. Oh, what is that? Oh. A dairy tour, meal of the cheese bar for two. Get that filled in, get it filled in now. That's up our street. And write the podcast down, give a bit of promotion. <laughs> <laughs> so 
I've just spotted Sarah's nails. Sarah, <laughs> it seems to be a bit mixed match. Like, well, I'm actually in between manicures at the moment, and um, these three are clinging on for dear life. <laughs> Um, but I thought I could get away with it as a look. Not with someone who works in beauty. A fun, fun new look. Oh, fun, yeah, 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 put it on Instagram. It's a new trend. Terry, get in there and get me a sample. Get in. Go on. Use your elbows, girl. Okay, it's called a high cross. <laughs> You're very close. <laughs> okay, this one's high cross. <laughs> it's like a game. <laughs> How is it? Oh, nice. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, God, it's really nice here. <laughs> <laughs> today interviewing a corn on the cob <laughs> look it's corn on the cob and it's covered in cheese rolled in lovely cheese popped a bit of lime on I mean that's modern cheese isn't it isn't that modern so we were told that we could only come and sit in here if we used the bar and I was like oh and Jules went immediately yes yes of course we are um so I think there's something to do with they're all cheese themed cocktails so I mean, I don't know how do you feel about a cocktail with cheese in it. Passionate. I'd give anything a go once. this quickly I love that I've got this microphone I feel like I'm on T4 on the beach hi yeah oh <laughs> steps are gonna be here any second there's a girl waiting to get past wait a second oh no she's gone um so I just wanted to share this there were some people sat here just a minute ago and they were like I mean I just don't know why they're pretending it's just not mature enough the whole thing it's just there's no mature cheese here at all they were so upset about it it was hilarious personally though I am loving the cheese festival mainly because it comes equipped with booze and a bar and Jules and Sarah having all the fun <laughs> yes cheese plate here had to elbow somebody out of the way but well worth it um this is mozzarella that the guys are actually making like with the hot water and everything they're actually making it there this is something else this has got a stick in it this is a cracker i can't wait and then we've got raclette over here so over there this is the raclette that you can buy and then you can see it over there they've all melted it and it's going to go on bits of potato and things I, how obsessed have I been about a raclette? She has been the most obsessed about raclette. She has not, I mean, look at her. She's stuffing her face now. But she has not stopped banging on about that bloody raclette all afternoon. And we're a bit drunk now. 
I mean, but it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Look at her. Don't you just love her? But yeah, this is the queue. This is solely the queue for halloumi fries. I mean, what? If only, if only we were halloumi fry manufacturers. We'd be loaded. We would be loaded if we were halloumi fries manufacturers. It's liquid gold. It really is. Mate, put this in my mouth. Okay. Put it in. So. Uh, <laughs> That is the smoked mozzarella rolled with smoked salmon. The things they can do, the things they can do. How is it? That's better than half the sex I've had in my lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> it seriously is. Sorry to those boys who I've brought back, but that was amazing. This cheese bait is gonna keep giving and giving and giving. It really is. It's surprise after, it's treat after treat. Uh. Sarah has literally just tried something that looks insane. She just blew, her mind just blew. <laughs> what is it? What, what is this? It's a bit of cracker, right? Don't attempt anything without a cracker. And I don't even know. I think, it, I think it's like, I think it's mozzarella, but it's like the middle of a mozzarella ball with a little cherry tomato on one of your five a day. It's absolutely, right, I'm going to give it you. Look, I've loaded you up. What do you think? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's sort of somewhere between. It's almost like Philadelphia. Don't tell them. <laughs> so Sarah is literally having to eat with her fingers. She <laughs> there isn't any shame in that. Oh, straight as straight as. June's daughter head to toe. It's so delicious. That's lovely. I can see why you were very quiet when you were eating this. <laughs> she literally just didn't shut up the whole time. I've kind of been given the dregs here. This mozzarella is unbelievable. It's like the best mozzarella I've ever had. We're in heaven. Sarah and I are in heaven. We literally have got a bit pissed and we're eating all the cheese. Okay, so this is them live making the mozzarella. This is hot water going in. There's the beloved cheese in the middle. That man caressing it beautifully. Oh my gosh. Look at the care. Look at the love. Stretchy. Yes. Go on. Yes. Oh my God. I mean, it is. I mean, that's heaven, isn't it? Look at it. That is heaven in a pan. Stunning. Well done, sir. Well done. Oh my god, this is literally one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. I have no idea what Sarah's just said to you, but this whole pushing and caressing and soaking and stretching. I'd do anything. This is like a spa treatment. This mozzarella is being given the one once over. Look at that. Look, like massage. What the hell's going on over there? A little jug. Like just soaking in. Just basking in. It's like, oh my god. If anyway, this is like Cleopatra's bath. This is what's going on here. Oh, lovely, stretchy, salty, firm, and slightly wiggly. Good old mozzarella. Yes, yes. Anyone else salivating? I'm drenched. I can barely talk down this microphone to you. Oh my days. Good Lord, what's he doing to it now? <laughs> kind of resembles a little seal baby. <laughs> oh, put it back in. Lovely. So here you have the halloumi fry stand. Now this is definitely the busiest stand at the cheese festival. Uh, this is the queue. The queue goes back as far as the eye can see into the horizon. We're almost in, we're almost at the coast and from London that's a long way. But I don't know what's going on here but I wanna have a little closer look. Oh, sorry, excuse me, hi. Um, they are definitely putting some kind of mayo dressing on it, some kind of other dressing. I don't know what that is, but it looks good. Like this is like deep fried halloumi. I can't even breathe for it. Oh my days. Oh my days. People are dribbling. I'm dribbling. I'm so dribbling. Oh, lovely. Lovely. So um, I do hope that you can hear us over the sound of this generator. <laughs> Look at me, I'm still armed. I'm still ready for more cheese. I'm gutted because the raclette that I was promised, that I wanted, that I had my little eye on, 
um, didn't take card. They would not accept card. I was going to buy raw raclette and I was going to buy cooked raclette dripped over new potatoes and gherkins and I have not had either because they wouldn't accept card and the queue was massive and we're going to bail. We're going to bail on the cheese festival. We're off. We've had our drinks. We've had our cheesy bits. We're going to go. We are now in the cheese bar, um, which is in Camden. This is all cheese. And just hang on a minute. Let me show you how chic this bar is. Hello. This serves. Hello. Hello. Oh, she's subbing. This whole bar serves cheese and champagne it's so chic look at the marble tops look at the menu and then the cheese comes out of this little hatch here all the wheels here i mean have you ever seen anywhere that is so jules and sarah i haven't and i'm going to cry i'm not gonna cry because what have we been drinking rosé on a roof terrace hence the uh grade three sunburn we're a bit fucked <laughs> Okay, we're going to have Marmite. Yes. yes. We're going to have the Baron. Yes. We're going to have the goat's cheese, honey, walnut, yes. rosemary, butter chap. And we're going to have the mozzarella sticks. Okay, so now these are mozzarella sticks that Jules didn't want to order. Jules was like, no, I know mozzarella sticks. I've had them before. They're from TJ I Fridays. Oh, what's this? What's this? <gasps> this is the Baron. The Baron's arrived. Okay, so Sarah is going for the mozzarella sticks. Oh my God. What is that? I've died. I've literally died. Someone dig a funeral for me. Plan a funeral. <laughs> We're in heaven. Just nibble it. Nibble it. <laughs> We're also having great fizz. We're so happy the Port Salut crew can be with us for this. She's enjoying it. Good? Not if it's good. Not if it's good. 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 So this here is um, truffled baron bagnon, I want to say. Bagnon. It looks like brie, to be honest. And that is a pickled walnut. I don't really know what that bread is, but it's going to be good. Can we talk about how chic these plates are? How chic. I, I'm gonna, I think we should ask for some Sarah. What do you think? I think we should just take them. <laughs> Theft. Always a good plan. Oh, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. How excited are you? Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm about 25. Brace yourself. Oh, gosh, what the hell is this? Ma oh, this is Marmite Malakoff Romesco. I'm reading off the menu. Look at the plates. It's the plates that I can't handle. Look at the smear of it all. I can't bear it. Sarah, how excited are you? You are going to die for that baron. Oh, surprise gherkin. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting a gherkin. Here it is. Okay, so this was the baron here. You see the cheese. You see the remains of a pickled walnut, right? No, 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 no just for the, no, for the shot. Have, oh. Look, <laughs> there. there inside is the truffle. There's the truffle lingering inside the little devil. So that's that with the pickled walnut. So we had that. Then we come over here. This is the Marmite guy. Okay, so this was the Marmite with romesco you loved this didn't you this is possibly the best cheese i've ever eaten in my life it's salty it's crispy it's gooey if you are hungover this is potentially better than it better than sex <laughs> well steady on and then i'm going to move you to your plate and then come over to my plate I've got the remainder of this also with a surprise gherkin. Which I've eaten all of it. Okay, so this is the goat's cheese with walnut and honey and rosemary butter. He is to die for, isn't he? I would marry him. Gorgeous, Literally. absolutely stunning. Down the aisle, down and the aisle for me. Finally, the mozzarella stick. Now I want to hear about you, Jules, on this. Now look, the mozzarella stick, I was dubious. I thought McDonald's, I thought... A harvester. Apparently, that's a thing. 
but honestly, the mor this mozzarella stick, sorry, mozzarella stick, I've had a, I've mm. had a bubbles. Um, this is insane. Give it a squeeze, Sarah. Oh, delicious. Literally eat it for me. It's banging. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Sarah and I are... Sla oh, <laughs> wasted. <laughs> <laughs> We're so wasted. Uh, we've been drinking Prosecco. Show the glass. Show the glass. Cheers, babe. Cheers, babe. Um, we've had all the loveliest cheese ever. I'm so red. I'm so red, too. We're, so, we're horribly drunk. I know. No, not horribly. <laughs> steady on. Not horribly. Just merrily. A merrily. bit drunk. A bit drunk. But we've just been saying that this place has the best cheeses ever. It's been, it's been actually brilliant because it's been super chic super gorgeous the food's lovely the wine's great it's been to die for actually okay, so sarah and i sarah can't wear uh <laughs> without that sunglasses nonsense. we've had a drink god we've had so many drinks so many drinks <laughs> we're having to use the microphone because it's so uh loud at camden market so we can't use it but basically we've been to this place called the cheese shop which served yeah, the cheese bar the cheese bar Fine, um, but we've been to this place called the Cheese Bar and it's served the luscious cheese ever, and we've had the best afternoon ever. Yeah. The London Cheese Project was amazing, and essentially we want to be reincarnated as it. Well, I want to be reincarnated as a sweaty brie, <laughs> as we've talked about before. Um, but yeah, it was just glorious, just to eat cheese, be amongst fellow-minded cheese lovers, mongers. That's mongers. Sort of thing. <laughs> Do you know what I love? My favourite part actually this afternoon was the lady going, "Quick, quick! They're making mozzarella!" and actually like pointed us towards where they were making it so we could watch. Um, so thank but, you. To her. But but I wanted to eat all the mozzarella. Yeah. Um, on a scale of one to ten, how wasted are you? Uh, about 24, <laughs> actually, I would say at this point. About 24. I'm, 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 I'm there too. Um, hey, listen, thank you so much for watching another episode thank of Jules and Sarah on um, YouTube. We love you for watching. Please leave comments below. We Again, we want to do a Q&A at the end of the series, so please. We will. We, we will. will do a Q&A. <laughs> don't just want to. We will. Um, please leave your Q&As after this and uh yeah we love you for watching this is the podcast jules and sarah on itunes and acast yes do love you love you bye